With the likes of David Ornstein, Fabrizio Romano, and other prominent journalists, it's extremely unusual in modern-day football for new signings to appear out of the blue. However, when Arsenal completed the deal for 22-year-old Fabio Vieira earlier this window, it came as a complete surprise to many fans and journalists alike. While his last name may be familiar amongst the fan base, Vieira is still very much an unknown quantity. Very few fans have seen him in action, and while the reports from Portugal are glowing, there is still a real anticipation to watch the creative midfielder in action. With this, who is Fabio Vieira? What will he bring to Arsenal, and can the Portuguese midfielder live up to his iconic last name? Vieira was born in a small city just off the Portuguese coast. He joined his local team at the age of 5 before being swept up by the Porto Academy at the age of 7. While Vieira has been talked about amongst Portuguese scouts for a while now, having featured for the Portuguese national team at almost every age level, for many English scouts, Vieira first appeared on their radar at the UEFA Youth League in 2019. That year, Porto faced a very strong Chelsea side in the final. Chelsea, who had been to the final the year before, fielded a team that included the likes of Tariq Lamptey, Mark Guehi, Conor Gallagher, and Billy Gilmore. Despite the plethora of talent that played in that game, it was 18-year-old Fabio Vieira who caught the eye of many scouts. He played a prominent role in Porto's 3-1 victory and walked away with the Man of the Match award. Two years later, Vieira once again impressed many scouts at last summer's European Under-21 Championship. Vieira led Portugal to the final, where they narrowly lost to Germany, but moments after the final whistle, Vieira was still named Player of the Tournament, an award that solidified the midfielder as a potential star for the future. Arsenal's interest in the midfielder intensified after his performances at last summer's Youth Euros. However, they knew they had to move quickly in the window to secure his signature. A number of other top European clubs were monitoring him, but with only one full season of first-team football under his belt, many clubs expected Vieira to remain at Porto for at least another year. With this, Arsenal knew their best chance of landing him was to act now, and both Mikel Arteta and Edu were sold on the idea of moving for the midfielder early. Ultimately, this is quite a gamble by Arsenal. As is the case with buying any young player, Arsenal are essentially betting on Vieira's potential. As we know, last season was Vieira's first at senior level, and Arsenal have invested serious money in a player with very limited exposure to top flight football. If anything, Vieira's old youth teammate at Porto, Fabio Silva, should provide warning of the risks of signing a player with such limited exposure to first team football. Silva, as you may recall, arrived at Wolves for a staggering £45 million, despite having featured only 12 times for the Porto first team. With that being said, while Silva has struggled to adapt to the Premier League, he is still only 20, and there is plenty of time for him to still have a very good career at the professional level. In the end, Arsenal had no choice but to move for Vieira this summer. If they had waited another year, there was a chance that some of the more elusive and wealthier clubs could have moved for the midfielder. So, with all this in mind, was it a good risk by Arsenal? And where does Fabio Vieira fit into Arteta's plans? While we've talked extensively about Vieira's success at youth level, let's now focus on his breakout season at senior level. While we started the season strong, many familiar with Portuguese football say Vieira didn't properly break through until Luis Diaz left for Liverpool in January, and he took over as Porto's main creative player. In his last 17 league matches of the season, he had 16 goal contributions, and ended the season with 7 goals and 16 assists and 39 appearances across all competitions. Vieira played in a variety of roles for Porto last season. He played as a right winger, an attacking midfielder, and even as a false nine at times. His versatility is one of the main reasons he fits so seamlessly into Arsenal's plans. While Arteta views him as an attacking midfielder who can fill into Odegaard's role or even play next to the Arsenal captain, Vieira can also cover for Saka outright and even play as a false nine up top. Ultimately, it is Vieira's ability to create goals that makes him so valuable. Scouts have compared the midfielder to Bruno Fernandes, as he has a tendency to look for the killer ball, and while this can lead to turnovers, he is a player who has the ability to change the course of games in one moment. 
All in all, Arsenal fans should be very excited for yet another Vieira. Every step in his footballing journey thus far has been one he's taken in stride. Now, the Premier League awaits him, and hopefully it's not too long until we hear this song ringing out at the Emirates once again. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. 